weeks ago, you had an intense stomach ache to the point where it got so bad for the first time in your life, you decide to call an ambulance. I'm meet me to say this is the craziest story that I've ever heard. But please watch this video to the end to get the OGs to understand what happened. And tell me if you've experienced this kind of thing or you know anyone who has ever experienced this kind of situation before. This story time gets intense as this young lady, pretty young woman, comes out to narrate. <laughs> I'll call it the craziest story ever. Please leave your thoughts to me in the comment section and let's just dive right into it. Okay, put a finger down. If three weeks ago you had an intense stomach ache to the point where it got so bad for the first time in your life, you decide to call an ambulance. But of course you live in the UK and the ambulance service tells you you need to get a cab to the emergency room so you call an uber and you do just that and the uber is concerned because you're groaning in pain but you tell him not to worry because you're going to the emergency room and when you get there of course there is a long wait so they tell you to sit and wait for approximately four hours and while you're there you're groaning and you're uttering in pain and a few hours later your husband joins you and he's concerned but there's nothing you can do but wait but then you feel the really intense urge to poop. So you run to the closest restroom, you lock the door behind you, and you sit to poop. You don't even clean the seat. That's how, that's how urgent it was, okay? And so you're sitting there and you're pooping and you're pushing and it hurts, but it feels so good to push. And you're pushing and pushing and then you hear a big plop. And so you stand up and you look down and that's when you realize you just gave birth to a baby but it gets worse it gets worse so you pick up your instincts kick in and you pick up this baby and you're looking at this baby and you realize someone is screaming and upon closer inspection that someone is you you're screaming you're screaming to the point where your husband is trying to break the door down because you have not been answering his are you okay in there questions before you can even react to him breaking the door down you feel this intense wetness and you look down and your water broke. And you're thinking, hmm, strange. Because you thought the water would break before the baby, right? That's what you've been taught. I mean, this is your first baby, so you don't know anything. But before you can even think of that, you feel the urge to poop again. But this time it is poop. It is poop. And as you're standing there holding this newborn and pooping, your husband has managed to break the door down and him, together with the nurses, because they've also been hearing screaming, together with some people from the waiting room, are all looking at you and looking at the sight of a woman holding a baby, pooping while standing, still screaming, okay? Then the nurses approach you, someone takes the baby and then you hear the baby cry and then you feel relief even though you're like, what just happened, okay? But before you can even say anything, you hear the nurses say, she's having another one. You're thinking, another what? Another poop? Another what? But before you can even think that, you're pushing. You're pushing. And this is familiar to the first push. So you know you're having another baby. Okay? Okay? And as you're pushing and pushing, you give birth to another baby. But this time it hurt a lot more than the first. You know? But the nurses, who are still in shock themselves, tell you they don't have a maternity ward here. So they would have to call an ambulance, the same ambulance that denied you the first time. They would have to call an ambulance to take you to the closest hospital that has a maternity ward. And as you're making your way there, the doctors and the nurses, everyone, the paramedics, they're all concerned because you don't know if your babies are full term or not. Because according to you, you had abs. You have abs and you had abs because you've been working so hard at the gym and you've been losing weight. So you were feeling yourself. So you're still confused as to where were these babies hiding inside your body, you know? Anyway, you get to the hospital, they do the checks. The babies, they're not full term, but they're close to full term. And the doctors are impressed. So impressed to the point where they call the media, they call the press, but you have to tell them to hold off. Hold off while you quickly call your mom to tell her congratulations you are now a grandma to twin boys 
twin boys and she's confused and you're confused and your husband is confused. everyone is confused has this ever happened to you because it hasn't happened to me it hasn't happened i just wanted to know has it happened to you because that would be a crazy story wouldn't it okay i know some of you are saying this is crazy <laughs> like i know some of you are like okay this is so unreal this is so crazy yes i was so engrossed in this story that i didn't skip a bit and i said to share with my audience for you guys to leave your thoughts what do you think let me know um please don't give it away in the comment section if you can and uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video bye for now